So how is uh, interstate pollution addressed under the Clean Air Act? Uh, well, largely it's not. Okay, the Clean Air Act doesn't do a great deal uh, to identify situations or, or prevent situations where uh, pollution uh, or pollutants put in the air in one state affects the compliance with national air quality standards in another state. So you could see how this could become an issue when you build new point sources of pollution near state lines or jurisdictional lines like that and lots of the pollution goes downwind onto the other state. So um, the way the EPA dealt with this is in their approval of state implementation plans they evaluate the effect of the new point or modified source of pollution, the effect that it's going to have on neighboring states. Okay, is it going to affect their ability to achieve their uh, the required air quality standards, and or is it going to affect their ability to achieve their state implementation plan? In either event. Uh, uh, interference with that uh, would not be permissible. Uh, so amendments to the Clean Air Act actually allow states to petition the EPA to challenge uh, certain actions by other states where they can allege that other states' actions are contributing to the state's failure to meet uh, the air quality standards or uh, the standards laid out under their state implementation plan. And um, the, the EPA also requires that any time a state is going to bring on a new uh, point source or modified source in an area if it's close to another state or has been shown that uh, the pollutants will drift into another state that it has to give the other state notice so you could begin this challenge process uh, to to the other state's action uh, so again this is uh, while the Clean Air Act does not uh, deal with it directly the EPA has found a way through the authorization of the state implementation plans to implement these uh, anti-interstate pollution efforts.